Yo, what is going on, homies? Bitcoin did some uh, weird stuff today. You know, we dumped, we pumped, and we dumped again and pumped again. You know, what I mean, it's a it's a big day for Bitcoin. Hope you guys had a good day. We got that crypto legislation stuff, uh, you know, coming up. We had uh, we got that officially came out. We'll talk about that a little bit tonight because we went over it a lot yesterday. But that was the old one. Here's the new one. Uh, some pretty cool things to hit up. All the great stuff, stuff guys. Coinbase did list some new coins. Hit up the video um, that posted earlier today. Another one is coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned for part two of that video. All the great stuff. So smack the like, subscribe, and you guys know we are powered by. Look at this daily Bitcoin candle. As you see, guys, we did dump all the way down to 29,200 bucks, spiked all the way up to $31,500. So we're going up, we're down, you know, all like always. And uh, currently, there's like just less than an hour left and it is slightly um, red, but we'll see though. Who knows what will happen here? A lot of volatility today. If we break this down to the four hour, you guys see the dump and then the pump. You know, I mean, we had a dump and pump. Uh, usually it's a pump and dump, but this is a dump and pump. I mean, it's just the opposite. <laughs> Uh, just thought, thought thought that was like a little unique there, um, but going back to the weekly guys, it is it is uh, green. It'd be very interesting to see if we continue playing out green with nine consecutive weekly red candles in a row. We've never seen that in the history of Bitcoin. We didn't see eight either, but and then we did nine. I mean, we broke records right there. So we'll see. Maybe we'll have records of green. I don't know, guys. Only time will tell. Um, I still believe the bottom's not in my humble opinion. Let me know when you think that'll happen. When the bottom will be. be in, Interesting to see, like, to see what like with what some people come up with. Some people say we bottomed already. Hey, I hope that's the case. Uh, but uh, I think it's very unlikely. It, like if you just like look at the monthly chart, it just it doesn't seem likely in my humble opinion. Um, but yeah, like that that right there is that's so obviously coins here doing all right. Ethereum eighteen hundred bucks. Eh, BNB just under three hundred. Cardano still holding that sixty one cents. That the XRP army getting wrecked. Hex getting wrecked today a little bit down uh to five point eight cents. Interesting. Yeah, guys, the thing, like, thing is, though, DCA like, throughout the bear market is not a, a bad idea. But uh, let's uh, smack those likes. Let's go on Sahib. We got Joshua. What's up? Uh, we got the line in the house. You think, you think we'll buy him at 10K? Turk says 35K tomorrow, right? And that would be real cool. What's up, the real transporter? How are we doing, guys? Th thanks for tuning in. Or if you guys are just uh, passing by, feel free to smack that, that like that subscribe. Um, but I did see earlier, you know, um, they, this lady we talked about yesterday. Um, you know, says thank you for your patience. I'm excited to finally get this out of the door. There will all, there will almost certainly be provisions you like. Perhaps there will be provisions you oppose. Getting this right will be hard, but worth it. Give me constructive feedback. Remember, guys, we had the you know the other draft of the bill, and I was reading through this Yahoo um, Finance article, which I, th I think uh, does. Uh, it's pretty decent. It's not terrible. You know, it says two you know senators unveil their crypto like regulation proposal. We scroll down here. I don't know what that X is for. Um, what did I just do? I X out the article. Eh, didn't want to do that. Um, so of course, we, like it goes down to the like senators. It's bipartisan, meaning both sides of the aisle, the R and the Ds. Um, so basically, guys, you know, it says under the proposal released Tuesday, crypto exchanges and product offerings will have to disclose risk of losses. So crypto exchanges. And product offerings have to disclose risk of losses. I mean, if you invest in everything, there's always a risk of losing stuff, right? I mean, I mean, th this isn't rocket science, if you ask me. How assets are treated in the event of bankruptcy? Well, okay, that is nice. Coinbase comes out and says, if we go bankrupt, it sucks for you. We're taking all your money. Yeah, I mean, that's a good thing to know. I, I, I would like to know that too. Uh, it says, you know, while consumers are guaranteed the right to keep and control of digital assets they own. Well, of course, the fact that you can withdraw and actually own the keys. Yes, you do want that that's something you definitely want it says the legislation creates a common set of definitions for digital assets virtual currency payment stable coins and uh smart contracts that everyone can abide by the bill also attempts to settle and score between security you know the, the sec and the cftc which i think is pretty interesting guys stay tuned for that uh it gets pretty good what's going up lit up av we got chris now's viper if we got fish is back what's up jack um, it says, so the bill creates regulatory clarity for agencies charged with supervising digital asset markets, provides a strong, tailored regulatory framework for stable coins, da 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 da, like, is what the Loomis is saying. So it says, what are the digital assets? So the, the bill makes a clear distinction between digital assets that are securities and those that are commodities by looking at how the asset is used. So it says, under the legislation, most cryptocurrencies are deemed commodities. That's good. 
and give the CFTC clear authority over digital asset spot markets, noting that digital assets that meet the definition of a commodity, including Bitcoin and Ether, I mean, they can't even say Ethereum, right, will be regulated by the CFTC. How can they regulate? Well, I guess this is Yahoo News messing that up. Smaller tokens like Cardano and Solana would be considered ancillary assets and presumed to be a commodity unless the uses of those tokens met exclusions that would kick them over to the SEC purview as securities. I know you guys kind of sounds like, hey, if there's enough people paying the SEC off, it's not going to happen. It'll be considered a commodity. But if it's not, it's considered a security. Um, right, right between the lines. The legislation offers exclusions for when tokens could constitute securities, including an interest or a dividend payment or profit of revenue share with a company that comes from entrepreneurial or managerial efforts of others. Interesting. The bill also co uh, codifies existing uh, precedents under the Howey test, a case law test that helps determine what's a security from 1934. This was created in 1934. They're going to use this thing created in 1934 to regulate crypto. It says which could fall under the, the SEC. The senator's staff felt the SEC was advancing what they did not believe to be the intent of the Howey test and wanted to set it in stone. The SEC pushed back on the initial bill proposal, causing the senator's offices to refine the definition of an ancillary assets. Yeah, they, they, they like to make words up. Uh, the bill that also directs the CFTC and the SEC to study and develop proposal for a self-regulatory organization that would work with regulators to help increase efficiency and supervision. So guys, stable coins are going to be a big deal. We know CBDCs are coming out. Um, like, you know, it is what it is. CBDCs. Eh. It says, unlike the, the B administration's uh, recommendation, we got the Loomis bill doesn't require that all stablecoin issuers become banks to be overseen by banking regulations. Instead, the bill requires a 100% reserve asset type and detailed disclosure requirements for all users to guarantee that stablecoin holders can redeem the stablecoin in exchange for the equivalent of a dollar, like the dollar value at any time. Well, I wonder why we're getting regulation on stable coins. I mean, did something happen with stable coins recently? Am, am I missing something? It says the rules also intend to make stable coins maintain their value while protecting consumers. Yeah, I mean, you can you can ask a Luna person. They're, they'll they'll tell you about that. They they like some of that protection. The bill also puts forth an optional framework for banks and credit unions to issue stable coins and authorities a special depository institution charter under both state and federal law with tailored capital requirements. The rule proposed comes after a run on algorithmic stablecoin Terra USD and their sister, they're calling it a sister token, how cute, and their sister token Luna have renewed calls for regulation to protect investors. Yep, guys, <laughs> forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. But guys, it does get a little bit better though. We have crypto tax breaks. Cri crypto tax breaks for up to $200. It says, under the bill, Capital gains of up to $200 from a cryptocurrency will be exempted from taxes. But this is a change that was, it was $600 last time, but now they lowered it. Um, you know, but guys, I thought this was interesting, guys. DAOs, you know, those decentralized autonomous organizations, um, you know, and that's also called a DAO, D-A-O. It's a short version because who wants to say this five times fast? It's not fun. Um, so they're commonly known, so will be recognized as businesses, entities under the tax code. A DAO would have to be properly incorporated or organized under the laws of a, of a decentralized autonomous or organization, which may include a LLC, corporation, partnership, foundation, cooperative, or similar organization. The legislation also narrows the definition of what constitutes a crypto broker for tax reporting purposes. After the infrastructure bill defined it as broadly last year, which is really bad, causing an uproar in the industry, yeah, I know, it also delays its implementation up to January 2025. So instead of being, what, 2024? The bill clarifies the tax treatments of different players and actions in the crypto industry, including that miners and other validators are not brokers. Well, that's really good for tax purposes and that the rewards won't be considered income until redeemed for cash. That's even better. 
else to build directs different studies, including commissioning the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. Yeah, because we were here to save the planet, guys. To analyze and report on crypto's energy consumption. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, though, where's their energy um, consumption for creating fiat currency? I mean, for some reason, we never get analysis on that. I mean, they have, they have armies out there fighting and, and blasting each other to pieces just to defend dollars. I mean, not to mention the R&D to design the dollars or even to mine the minerals and produce whatever paper they use to make it and all that ink and, and the building it's in. They don't they don't talk about that, though. Um, so it says, uh, and continue on. So, and report on crypto's energy like consumption, given research on the copious amounts of energy that the proof-of-work crypto mining uses to validate and release new stable coins. Another study the senators are commissioning, one by the Office of Management and the Budget, all along with the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, the... <laughs> Guys, they just have all these names. Can you use like abbreviations? Uh, so they're looking at China's central bank di digital currency. Yeah, no, no S right there. Of course they're looking at that, guys. They're going to be making their own digital currency, guys. There's going to be multiple CBDCs. That's what it stands for. Of course, every agency that's like three names or four names um, long is looking into them. Of course they are. I mean, it's it's not uh, it's not crazy. While the senator are ruling out the legislation as one large bill, it likely will get broken up and introduced in at standalone bills. Yeah, changing things around because they don't know how to get anything done because it just doesn't work. Offering a better chance of getting sections through committees for passage. Yeah, that's how very, very inefficient our government is here in America. So it says uh, the senator uh, Loomis and the other guy and their staff have spoken with other senators, including the members of Senate Banking, the Financial and Agriculture Committees, and I've included important issues from multiple senators to garner uh, collaborative support. So guys, you have to understand this is no nowhere close to being done yet. Um, yeah, nowhere close at all. So we'll see what's happening. I mean, I I think it's cool the whole crypto tax thing. They want to do two hundred dollar like basically free tax, uh, tax free. But it would be cool if they could up that. Think about it, if, if you're buying Bitcoin and say Bitcoin's at two hundred k in the future, it's gonna go up two hundred bucks like in a minute. So. It would be cool if they bumped that up a little bit, in my humble opinion. But that's just my perspective. What do you guys think about that? Hopefully, we didn't put you to sleep. Um, I think it was interesting. But then again, sometimes I find weird things interesting. That's that. But we did go over this last night. If you want, if you want, want to get the whole rundown of this thread right here last night, go hit up last night's live stream right here. Definitely recommend watching that if you have not already. So what do you guys think about that? Let me know down below. Like, What do you guys think of CBDCs and all that uh, great stuff? Let's pull up my favorite, apparently safe, um, safe coin that uh, apparently, you know, the powers that be, they, they're liking this one. And if I'm not mistaken, you can buy a million of them for around $313 right now. So not bad. You'd be a, you can buy millions of Doshis. Uh, what's up with the chat? We got, uh, yo, what's going on, Ginger? Yeah, Jack said, AK, the Luna Law. Yeah, yeah, we'll just make it the Luna Law. Yeah, but fish is lurking today. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, pump will be cool. I, I still I still think, um, I don't know, it, a pump in the short term seems likely. It just seems likely. Was it the Shipster? How we doing, home dog? We got the ships going. The Shipster, what do you think of that Pulse Dogecoin? Uh, yes, Jack, the bill could have been a lot worse. Yes, bro, it could have been. Yesterday, based off that thread yesterday, it was looking bad. I thought all coins were going to base be all considered... Um, securities, but now it just seems like if you have enough money to pay them off, it'll be fine. Um, so I mean, that like that's a good thing. What do you miss? Oh, yeah, bro, I scroll back a little bit, man. You, you did miss uh, a lot of stuff. Beats, uh, what's up, Cyrus? How we doing, home dog? Yeah, Elijah, the CBDC will be adopting the same fiat system that we have, so I don't think us sheep will have a choice. Well, yeah, I mean, we don't have a choice. CBDC is coming, nothing we can do about it. Yeah, I mean, exactly. But the, th the cool thing is you can understand how to use blockchain technology. You can understand how to use Bitcoin. You can understand how, how to have your own keys. You can also understand how to um, like make things a little more private um, to where they can't trace you. Um, just keep in mind, guys, there's still a, a bounty out for Monero if you can crack it and trace it. Just putting that out there. Monero um, from a financial, from the, in, in making money op, like opportunity probably isn't that uh, lucrative, but from an actual real world use case, I don't know. I think it's a little, I think it's a little bit usable. You know what I mean? I like talking about it too much on YouTube though, because that's uh, that's a, it's a gray area, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It was a ginger, nice haircut, homie, with the clown emoji. I love it. <laughs> it's a wrong emoji. Well, thanks, homie. Appreciate it. Um. Yeah, we did get the dump and pump. Yes, we did, bro. Go on the four hour man. Look at this. Wait, it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm on the four day. I was like, what? It was a dump and it was a pump. I'm curious how to become more private. Just basically, like, look at Monero. Like, like, 
people here. Let me see if I can Google this real quick. You guys, the IRS will pay up to $625,000 if you can crack Monero, the private part of it. Basically, you cannot trace it. Um, you cannot trace Monero. So that's how a lot of people will launder money. They'll put it into Monero, they'll send it to the new wallet, and then they'll cash out on local Bitcoins. Keyword, Monero and local Bitcoins. You're, you're going from, you're, 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 like you're getting the Monero and then you're putting it into probably, probably Bitcoin to cash out on local Bitcoins. Um, actually, if you want to learn more about that kind of stuff, there's a lot of, um, ooh, hang on. Uh, my, my homie uh, sent me this, hang on. So it's, it's on Spotify. It's called Dark Net Diaries. And listen to 118 here. Let me just type this in the chat so you guys, so. I'd recommend listening to this sometime if you guys have a chance. Yes, I said Spotify by accident. Spotify, Darknet Diaries, 118 hot swaps. You'll learn a lot, a lot about the security there because they, they, they talk with an ex-hacker. They can't tell you, t tell you everything, but it's, it's very interesting. Um, it is actually, it's an hour and a half, but I put it on twice the speed, so that it doesn't make it an hour and a half. It makes it half of an hour and a half, if you know what I mean. Um, let's see. Fear and greed, yeah, yeah man, we'll pull that up. Uh, extreme Fear, 15. Let's go down to, yeah, I mean, it's been it's been around that, that range for a while now. It hasn't changed too much. What about Doji on Mars? I'm not, I'm not too crazy about it. I, I didn't get a free airdrop. <laughs> uh, the ships are, Pulse Storage seems interesting, but I'm not touching it. Yeah, I mean, it does seem interesting, but I, I only touched it because I got the free airdrop, so it, it is what it is. But it, it does interest me, though. Yeah, bro. So where's man? Um, yeah, it's definitely. Um, I mean, like we're still down here. I've said before. Uh, why did it do that? Hmm. Looks like it's not working today. Or maybe that's just my internet. Um, okay, it's working now. So let's make sure you guys can see everything here. Let's clean the screen up a little bit. So if we see like clusters like this, then I think the, the, like it'll be the bottom. But if it's a wick down, which we are making a cluster, so that actually does look pretty good actually. Um, for a for like for a bottom signal on the fear and greed, that does look pretty good. <laughs> Guess we'll see. Only time will tell. The Fed does not look good. He said nice things. Yeah. Um, yes, I, I did hear about the Epic Game Partner with Gala. Yeah, I, I talked about that slightly yesterday. I just announced it. What, and ginger, I mean, it's definitely interesting. If you guys have an hour and a half, but just put on twice the speed. It's definitely, you'll probably learn something. So it's definitely worth it. I mean, I've talked about a lot of those stuff before, but it's, yeah, I mean, it, it's from hackers and it's pretty cool. I thought I heard something. Um, I hope you guys can't can't hear that. Um, so it says that could be a, a huge with the game. I mean, it's possible. Grab some Gala. Yeah, Gala, I mean, guys, it's one of those gaming coins. It'll probably do well. I Ho hope you guys can't hear the music because then that'll be an issue for music then. Copyright. Um, so we got... <clears throat> Yeah, so Ginger, you're still bullish on Matic? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, guys, it, I mean, it's, it's L2. Um, yeah, I mean, it, like, it's Matic. Hopefully, it's still working in, in the bull run. But, yeah, I mean, like, as long as you can trade back and forth, like, that's cool. Um, why is Unify pumping? I have no clue, bro. I have no clue. I don't stay up on every sing, sing, like, single coin. Um, I mean, why is it pumping? I mean, why did Bitcoin dump and pump today? I mean, there's more buyers than sellers. There's more sellers than buyers. Simple as that. Um, it actually looks like it's down 800-some percent. But I did want to show you some hopium for today because, you know, like we look at the real stuff. 
But we gotta get like a little bit of hopium, you know, just to mix it up a little bit. Our favorite hopium uh, analyst right here. And where, where was it at, you know? So according to their model, this is uh, developing according to our model. It says, you know, the break eyes, it's called a double throwback. Must mean we're going to the moon. Uh, off the races we go, I guess. Oh, Elijah, you said now BitBoy is talking more about that false top theory, saying sentiment-wise that 64K was the top and the institutions manipulated made 69K a false top. Higher high sounds plausible. I mean, it's possible, guys. I mean, guys, there there's a lot of manipulation in this space, um, that's for sure. Um, it, uh... I mean, from the, I mean, there there's a lot of manipulation. It's as simple as that. He's definitely well connected, so maybe he's has got information from somebody that we're not aware of. Um, it's a possibility, or maybe he's blowing smoke out his ass. I mean, he's done that before too. So, it is what it is. You said it's up eleven hundred percent on Binance. Uh, well, I mean, maybe it got listed there. I, I have no clue. Um, you said hashtag counter trade BitBoy. I love it. Um, yeah, bro. I mean, yeah, I mean, just trading like the Matic back and forth and making some gains. Yeah, take it. Yeah, just make sure you track the transactions because it, it's a pain, and you know what for taxes. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just a pain. I wish crypto was tax free. I just wish you know it was like you know what, no taxes. You know what I mean? But then again, that'd be too easy. Then they don't want that to happen. But yeah. So what is uh? What is everybody doing to survive the bear market? Are you guys uh, just, you know, not looking at charts? Ginger said, I'm not paying taxes unless I get a 1099. I'm um, just saying, Ginger, that is a bad idea. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to come after you. Well, or maybe not. There's so many people doing that, but he said, that's what my account is doing with his crypto clients. Yeah, well, that, that's a bad account. I hate to say it. Uh, because the IRS says, I mean, it, it counts a, as a capital gain or a loss. But, hey, I, I'd get a good lawyer. The thing is, at the end of the day, if you have enough money, you have a lawyer, they'll take care of it. So, it's just how, how it works. Money talks and BS walks. What's up, Elijah? Said, Do you think the next halving will have much of an effect on the BTC price action as previous years? Maybe a 3x and x bull run uh, peak in my opinion. I mean, I, I personally think this, this uh, cycle was, like, very low didn't really it didn't really like we didn't have that euphoria top we didn't like it just didn't it just i think it was a premature top in my humble opinion like it, it should have kept going but it didn't so yeah yeah i mean it it is what it is um i don't know it's gonna be interesting like i, I guess we'll see how far we dip how, how far we go but we didn't really do that. like we only basically tripled uh, from last all-time highs, a little over triple. But yeah, it's not a... I definitely thought it was going to go more. A lot of the topping indicators for previous cycles, they were inaccurate for like for this one. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see if we even dip down as low. For the next cycle, though, I don't know, man. I mean, it's anybody's game. I, it, I mean, we could overextend. We could have a, this massive rally end up hitting like 400K. Or we could just hit like 100K and call it a day there. So Or maybe not e even hit 100K. It's the only time we'll tell. And what's up, Jiji? said, as long as you check uh, yes to cryptocurrency box. Um, he said, I'll tell you right now, the number they have will never be the number we have. So it's wrong either way. Well, yeah. So like the issue like with um, like what exchanges give you, I don't go by that. I plugged it into Coinly and it's all in there. And then you have to go in and verify things because, yeah, because it doesn't count for when you bought something else and transferred it there. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the stuff exchanges get, like, give you are wrong. But, but that's it. if you plug in the transactions to um, software, then it figures it out. I mean, you still have to sift through it and look at it, but yeah, is what it is. But hey, I mean, the thing is, uh, the, the odds are they're not going to get everybody that like that's doing that. And if you can get a good attorney, you'll probably be fine. What's going on, Jack? He said, still wait on silence until BTC hit lows 20K or below. I mean, I, I mean, we'll see. I still think it's likely we'll hold the 200 weekly, though. Viber says, I'm still holding and buying more AMP and ACH. Guys, the things with altcoins, though, like right now, the thing with alts is that um, uh, I passed it. The Bitcoin dominance. You guys see this right here? That's the, let's go to the daily. 
You guys see that? Bitcoin dominance just continues to increase. It just keeps going. That means all coins will continue getting demolished. That's probably what will happen, guys. That's typically what happens here with, uh, with, uh, with everything. So just pointed out, that's typically what happens. So just be careful. Um, but yeah, I mean, like with taxes, just do do whatever I guess your accountant says. But I'm just saying, I I would be careful. Um, yeah, your bank account is care is accurately measured. Yes, especially when CBDCs come out, they'll definitely do that. Cool library said so that's why I'm also buying Bitcoin because of this. But guys, you do realize though. So, so something, um, a homie was um, sending me some analysis today, and I'm just saying, I think it's very unlikely for us to break past uh, like 49% Bitcoin dominance. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think so. Um, I think Bitcoin dominance is about to rule over. And when that happens, do you know what happens when Bitcoin dominance falls? All coins go up. So, yeah. Um, we could see like a mini alt season here. I'm, I'm not saying full bull alt season. But we could if Bitcoin dominance does roll over, if that does happen. I mean, or maybe it's going to break the highs we had back here from the from uh, July 2021. Um, I guess if you look at it here, this is 2020. I mean, I, if this thing would rally all up to 70%, also get demolished. Or even get rejected off like 57%. I mean, alts would get demolished. It would be it would be a bad day for altcoins. Um if Bitcoin does break that 50%, it's going to be a bad day. And Danny, you said, uh, BTC dominance only ever goes down when Bitcoin sustains growth. These daily up and downs do nothing for alts. Well, yeah, I mean, like, like, of course. But if it's going to dump, if it continues dump, like dumping real hard, like, look, alt season in 2017 was nuts, and that's when this happened. Alt season, bam. It, it, like, it was nice. Um, God said, not trying to lead anyone the wrong way, but Sheldon the Sniper from Banter Fam has been doing live trades and giving people advice if you're interested in learning about leverage. Yeah, I mean, if you want to take leverage seriously, cool, go for it. Um, but also, you have to understand um, nothing's free in life. So just keep in mind, that's all, all I'm going to say about that. Um, nothing's free in life. So if, if you can read between the lines, you'll, you'll figure it out. It's what they've also, what they've done before. So just be careful there. But yeah, just basically going back. Um, if it starts dumping, then uh, yeah, alt will probably do decent. Damn, I see Gal is down ten percent. Oh yeah, you'll definitely get wrecked if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. That's why like not ninety nine percent of people should not use leverage. You you have to understand there's a lot of manipulation in this space, and yeah, um, yeah, just be careful. I mean, if you're using like double or 3x leverage it's not that bad but some people go go crazy with the amount of leverage it's it's not good yeah yeah ginger leverage can make or break you that is uh for sure yeah de that's definitely the case you can make a lot of money that's a possibility um i mean if, if you're doing like two or three x it's really not that bad but if you start getting like 10 20 30 i mean can some can some, can some crypto places do 100 I know in uh, 4X you can, but Kai, you're loving the prices right now. Yeah, I mean, prices, well, they kind of dip, kind of pump, kind of doing things. Alts are kind of down. The bubbles are on the red side today. Yeah. Yeah, just ignore Luna. I wish they would take those off here. Gal is down. I mean, a lot of things. Hex is up a little bit. Hexagons are probably having a party or something. They're, they're nuts. All I saw today on Twitter was that guy twerking, I'm like, that's disgusting, man. What are you doing? But hey, it was part of his marketing gimmick and it works. You know what I mean? 
he's uh, he's a really good marketer. It's why he buys all those expensive design like designer clothing. And uh, yeah, I mean it, it works. The ship just says I'm off the BTC wagon. <laughs> Elijah, I was up 87 percent on the last BTC pump, but I didn't sell. I'm learning though. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like Ginger said, hindsight's 2020. Viruses buying season. I mean, yeah, think things are down a lot. <laughs> Elijah's like <laughs> didn't need anyways. Just went to the the H's and the B's, right? Yeah. And a little bit to the IRS. Kyle says, I use 25X on Bitcoin only. Watch the chart 24-7. Never miss a trade. Well, now, anyway, didn't start that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, as long as you know what you're doing, you're fine. But if you don't, you don't. What's up, uh, Bitter Truth? How are we doing, home dog? Welcome, yeah, guys. Smack those likes, smack those subscribes if you have not already. Um, there's a video earlier today going over the Coinbase listings. It's uh, I mean, there's a there's a bunch of of very small coins on there. It's pretty cool. Coinbase did announce. Um, part, like part two is gonna come out tomorrow. Where's it at? Damn, they, they tweeted a lot today. Um, but yeah, part, like part two will come out tomorrow. Uh, if you guys want to know what's in my portfolio, what I'm holding, you guys can hit up the Patreon, the crypto enthusiast community. I like I post what I have in there. Are any of these coins from that list um, referring to Um, I'm I'm not sure what list like you like you're referring to. Where do they have the percentage of which way chart patterns are likely to break out? Uh, I mean, like you could just Google it. I think Mitch Ray has uh, he has I think he has the actual people that created. It. I forget the but like I forget their names. I was a star the crypto homie. There is a big dex launching on uh, Bitcoin Trash because Bitcoin Trash is now EVM compatible with a sidechain called Smart Bitcoin Trash. Can't type the name, it's shadow banned by YouTube. <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that's cool, man. Uh, oh, the, the, the list that disappeared. You know, I found it again today. I'll have to pull that up. What's going on, Kyle? He said, I, I really appreciate the, the, the consistency with the channel. You're super disciplined. I respect that. Hey, bro, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, seriously, appreciate you guys tuning in, supporting the channel. Uh, they give you a monthly review uh, of, like, of your channel. <laughs> the past two months, um, you know, just because, like, um, uh, where is it at? Just because, I mean, crypto's down, everything's kind of nuts. Or people just don't enjoy the show. I mean, it's 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 one or the other. Uh, zero new subscribers uh, past two months is kind of nuts. We, we 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 like we've actually gone down. Um. Yeah, yeah, Viper. I'll try to find that list. I did have it up earlier. Yeah, the ship series. Yeah, exactly. It's a fork of a fork of a fork of a fork of a fork. Exactly. So I'm calling it trash. Elijah, just absolutely respect the consistency of this channel. Uh, I'm gonna buy a shirt and hit the like button. Hey bro, I appreciate it. I'm actually, um, maybe you can hold off on the shirt though because I am working on some new ones. Actually, I guess while we're here, let's see if I can pull this up, guys. I don't know, I uh, I kind of like, um, I have like dark humor. I guess I don't really show it on this channel, but uh, I was making this shirt. Let's see, I can't get it to load on my computer. I have to use my laptop. That's the part that, that sucks with this. Teespring, I, I can't get it to work there, but maybe I can pull it up and show you on my laptop. Um, yeah, it's not. I mean, like, there are a few shirts there, but I was making this new and I thought it was pretty cool. I, I guess maybe if I could pull it up while we're live, then I could, uh, I didn't know if, so, like, some people say the hag, they think, like, will load here? It probably won't load here. Yeah, it doesn't load on my computer, on my PC, but I can get it to load here. 
So I'm, I'm not sure if you guys know like Planet Fitness, you know, how they have the thumbs up shirt. I don't know, I just thought it'd be cool to have like a thumbs down shirt. But I was thinking, you know, because somebody said the whole Hagby thing, like the homies, um, the homie, uh, oh wait, it's, so it's like, you know, like we're all going to make it, but somebody said homies all going to make it. So that's what H-A-M-I, something like that. So I seem like, like, sh like, would that be a good idea to put on the, uh, I seem like put on the back, but kind of small, um, like basically just says thumbs down, you know, and then I have like like a little smiley face and go from there <clears throat> uh, Yeah, I can't pull it up on um, the, Like this computer for whatever reason Teespring doesn't load for it. <laughs> I Cleared the cache. I've tried to get like different browsers. I don't know. Some, something's blocking it uh, What's up Jack? Thanks for saying well, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, Ginger said it sucks uh, you, Like you should be up there. I mean it like it is what it is. It's part of the game uh but I mean, seriously, guys, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Well, wow, Viper, yeah, appreciate it. Stark says, uh, Bitcoin trash is a hard fork of Bitcoin and it's on PayPal. Are you joking? I'm not joking. It's Bitcoin trash for a reason. Um, I have not seen the chart of U of UFI. Did, like, did that? Yes, Viper, the, the hag me. Homie's all going to make it. Exactly, bro. That's what it was. I got to put that on there. Um, but, uh, yeah. The hag me. Let's put that in, like, before we forget. H-A-G-M-I. Yeah, homies are going to make it. But I'll just do the abbreviation. We're not going to, like, spell it out. Cool. And we can save that. I'll finish that after the stream. Okay, cool. Um... Just screenshot the bubbles and make sure of it. I think that would be hard though because of all, all the different colors. But that would be cool though. You said that, like crypto like, crypto wouldn't be the same without the homie. I appreciate it, man. And Kyle, you said uh, keep doing what you're doing. The real homies will find you. You'll have 10k before you know it. Yeah, bro. I think just being real though, um, it definitely throws people off. People don't like, um, like real content. You know, what I mean, it's better off like people. There's a reason why like Carl the Moon, like people that that are just calling bull, 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 bull. They, they, they grow so fast because they just sit there and lie to people and um, pe people actually like honestly want to be lied to it's just it, it is what it is so, so everybody's all uptight about this coin up 800% today um, is this one of those coins that got listed on Coinbase I forget all the ones they, they, they listed a bunch it is up a bunch uh, corn pick said it wasn't up uh, let, let me go check this list real quick Uh, wasn't in part one. Is it in part two? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what's going on with this coin. I don't know why it says it's down so much here, but then, interesting. Gas is pretty low right now. Yeah, yeah, that's strange. About 100, yeah, that's strange, okay. Yeah, I personally don't know what's going on, but it, it is up a lot, and it does get a lot of people's attentions. Fiber said, make make a, a bubble shirt when Hex is down with the big Hex bubble. That actually would be funny. Uh, bubble shirt for Hex being down. <laughs> hey, I'll have to see if I can screenshot that sometime. I'm, I'm not sure how it would come out, though. Um, I Yeah, I'd have to get a test run on that, but... I go from there. Yeah, eight hundred percent. Yeah, it had a massive pump. That that is kind of insane. Did it just get listed or something? Let's see. Maybe we should hit up their Twitter. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. I'm not seeing anything so far. So today is June, what, 7th? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't see anything crazy here. You yeah, guys, I really don't know, man. I don't know. Do you see a daily a candle like that for BTC? It would be nice. Yeah, Kyle, you said, like, re like, reach out to other homies in the community. Ask them if you'd be a guest that couldn't hurt. Yeah, yeah, bro. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, like, I, I should do that more. Um... Hex is always up and to the right, yeah. Hex does it things. 
Uh, he said that has rope all over it. He said get Alex on your channel. Dot dot dot. That uh, that'd be interesting. You mean uh, Lo like Lorenzo? Uh, yeah, he'll be on. Um, I think we have him scheduled for next month. Yeah, you said Bitcoin trash is also on Grayscale. We, you have to understand the reason why Bitcoin trash is all over the place is because it was a fork of Bitcoin. Um, basically, they wanted to increase the block sizes and they wanted to ruin Bitcoin. So, yeah, I mean, of course, everybody got it. If you had Bitcoin, you got Bitcoin trash and the other Bitcoin trash. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's, what was it, SV and ADC? And then, and then it went into, like, they split again and it was just kind of crazy. Oh, Becker. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Be Becker is a super busy guy. He's not. He's not even a crypto guy. I I watched Becker before he was even into crypto. He owns this company, a SaaS company called. I forget what it's called. Hydro pumps. It's called Hydro pumps. I think. Um. Yeah. The guy's a really busy dude. He's he he wasn't a crypto dude. He I watched him before he 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 was a crypto dude. Um. And then I saw his transition. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Elijah says you're up to the right every morning, then I pee and it goes away. Uh yeah, yeah, no guys, Becker's definitely busy. There there's no way. Um Yeah. The, like the cool thing is uh, if you're in, in the Neo Tokyo Discord, if you have one of their NFTs, um he, he he is kind of active sometimes in there, so 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 you can um chat with him occasionally. And I mean it's not like that often that he's in there, but he's in there sometimes. And so basically like what I do is I search for his name in that in the private Discord and I just see what he's saying. And I mean usually nothing really comes out of it, but just interesting to see. He he thinks all the land for um NFTs is garbage. He says it's terrible. Oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, let like I mean, yeah, let I mean I get it though. The reason why RH talks about his PP, it's just yet again. Um, it's yet again another marketing thing. He's doing well with it, guys. He's, he's twerking. I mean, even the girls like him twerking. I don't understand why. Um, everybody loves it. Um, the volatile price action of Hex. The thing is, though, man, and how quick it moves. But the thing with Hex, though, I mean, it's just like every other coin. Like, it moves like every other coin. I mean, sometimes it's going up when everything's down. But um, the, the thing is, though, it's, it goes up and down like everything else. So... It's like any other altcoin. Yeah, Brian Elijah. I mean, I don't care if you it, like if you want to have that talk and talk talk about the Red Bull comparison. You, you do you, man. It it doesn't bother me. But um, yeah, I still can't believe you did that. Yo, what's up, guys? Who are the homies you like and respect and like and ask them great, great my things up? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely true. I'll have to reach out. Yeah, Richard Hart's a very interesting character. I I uh I don't know. I just could not take him too serious when I first met him. Like first met him as in like saw saw him on YouTube. Because he talked about this self-help book, this self-help book. And I'm like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I can't take any advice from you. Like you want to tell me how to, you know, be healthy, um, and get girls and stuff like that. But like, you're overweight, man. You, like you're overweight. You, you don't have muscle. Like what? Like, like I'm not trying to be rude, but you cannot write a self-help book and have these things. It's like, it's like going to the gym, hiring a personal trainer and your personal trainer is overweight. Um, would you ever hire an overweight personal trainer? Personally, I, I would not. That's a terrible idea. Um, so I would never read a book from a self-help book from someone that's not that's not in life where I want them, uh, like where I like where I I want to be. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's kind of nuts. Um, what's up, Stark? said BTC can't scale globally in 2017. The BTC I had got stuck on the blockchain for days because of congestion, and this won't happen on BSC BSH. Already, bro, like that's great, man. I understand it's faster. I I understand. Like it, apparently, it's it's really good, um, but that's not going to change my opinion. Uh, what, and what's going on, Viper? You said, uh, when is a uh, self-help book coming out? When's the homie self-help book? 
I don't know. I, I have not wrote, wrote a self-help book. I feel like I'm not in the place in my life to have the authority to do that at, like, at this moment. I'm not going to sit here and be like a, like a snake oil salesman or whatever you want to call it, um, basically rug people. Um, yeah, I mean, may, maybe in the future, just right now, it's definitely not, uh, it's not on the agenda. I, I don't feel like I'm qualified for that at the moment. In the future, though, possibly. Yes, Kyle, I listened to David Hodgins and, and talking about the same thing. Don't take advice from people that don't, that, that don't or won't do that, do it themselves. Exactly, exactly. Like, I, I can't, I, I can't do that. Uh, Elijah said he used to sell the S3X toys and he is a master manipulator. Um, if you can manipulate a woman's mind, you can make them do a lot. Yeah, well, look at Target. They do a great job of doing that. Um, I worked there for like three months and I was working in electronics and in, in electronics you had to do three days up front on the register because in electronics they have their own register so they want you well qualified on the right like the register even though you barely ever use it <laughs> I mean you have a, cu a couple people a day that check out there um but anyways there was this one um I say like middle-aged woman she said oh I just came here for pickles her cart was full she spent two hundred dollars so yes, Target also does a great job at that. And I'm just saying, if you go to Target, you know the demographic that they market to. And that's all I'm gonna say about that because people can get take that too serious and get offended. Um, what's going on, Load? How we doing, home? You said a good grifter always has his next con ready to go. Oh, are you talking about Paul's train like that? <laughs> are you talking about Paul's train? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, Ginger, I hope uh, put, like like the Puerto Rico was nice. I bet the weather was amazing. Uh, the ships you said, I don't know if Richard has been on point so far. I hate him or love him. Yeah, I mean, guys, to be honest with you, he has been on point. I mean, he does have some very good points, if you ask me. Um, and that's why I find him intriguing, because he does have points. Uh, but still, like, be cautious. It's still a little sketchy. Because, bro, like, I'm, I'm just saying, man, like... Of course, he, the whole thing of hacks, you got to get new people into it, just like Apple stock, just like Bitcoin, just like Ethereum, you need new users. Um, so like it just like it is what it is. But at the same time, like, you know, he's over here twerking. Um, and that's kind of weird, in my opinion, but I, 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 I don't twerk, you guys will not see me twerk. That's not something I will do. Um, I don't care if that's a marketing thing, I'm not going to twerk. Um, but I just have principles. But you know, he's over here. And of course, me just talking about him is also um, it's promoting his stuff and stuff like that. But I mean, he, but the thing is, it's been all over Twitter and everything crypto. So, you know, he's buying these outfits, you know, look, it's a 10 K fit. It's like, 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 that's cool, man. The thing is though, I mean, like what, what would be cooler than you spending all this money? And then of course twerking like this, I think it would be cool, bro. If you actually take your own advice, you follow your book, you get in shape. You know, he was saying how he wants to bank nines and tens off Instagram. I, I don't understand why he was saying that. Because, like, let's be real on Instagram. I mean, it's basically all... Uh, we have to use words for YouTube. Um, I mean, basically, you can just fly them out and you can pay for it. I mean, it's as simple as that. Most 9s and 10s will do that. Um, I, I don't understand how he doesn't know that. Unless he's too ugly, they won't even take his money. Um, I, I don't know. But, I mean, it is what it is. But you guys see... I hope that doesn't get flagged. But like, of course, you know, he's over here twerking. Hey, great marketing, guys. It, it, it was great. Props to him. I think it's funny all, all these videos now <laughs> are doing that. But here's the original picture. He's peacocking because that's all it is, guys. It's peacocking. But that's enough of twerking today, guys. We don't have to see any more of that. Um, yeah, Vi and Viber says the, the homie needs new users. Time to work. Yeah, guys, I, I, I will not do that. That's not part of me. Um, I, mean, I, I wouldn't dare to challenge the great leader. <laughs> uh, and, and Ginger said, yes, awesome, awesome. It's good to hear. Elijah said, I, I honestly respect Richard's intellect. Yes, yeah, same here, bro. And if you check out the uh, Panama story about him getting robbed, it checks out. I can't remember his real name, though. Um, yeah, it's, it's Richard something. I, I, I do forget his real name. You can Google it. Um, but yeah, I mean, the thing is, I... I don't think he's lying. Like, I don't think, like, I, I know there's scam accusations with the S3X toys and stuff like that. And I think it was with speakers when he was speaker. I don't think he's, a, I, I don't think he did it. I, I, I don't think so. Um, 
I, I think it was allegations. But that's just based off of my opinion. Elijah said those nines and tens are, are sixes without making the filters and you can uh, be fat if your bank is fat. Well, yeah, of course. Um, it just depends. But he wants those true nines and tens. That's, that's what he said he wants. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is, though, I'm just saying, man, if you're going to have a self-help book saying how to get in shape, so, you know, how to attract the opposite gender, I mean, like, let's be real. You're not doing a good job yourself. But hey, it is what it is. I'm, I'm not here to be overly critical of him. I'm just here to point out the obvious that, hey, I personally would not take advice from somebody that's not where I want to be. So it's just my thing. Um, there's a book. Well, I've been reading a lot of books, but um, the one that sticks out here, let's pull it up. I forget which one, I forget what it's called. I have to pull my list. Um, I don't know, guys, if, if you guys haven't read or I, I can't read books, I listen to books. If you guys haven't read slash listens to the uh, power of the con the, the power of your subconscious mind, um, check it out. Uh, guys, I'm not sponsored by them. I, there's no affiliate link. Go find it somewhere. Um, you, you, th there is a YouTube audiobook. Um, you can go from there or get it on Spotify. It's called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. I would definitely recommend checking that out. If you guys have not already, I think it's worth a read. Well, I read books multiple times, but which I think everybody should, unless it's like Twilight. Just don't. You shouldn't be be reading that. Um, it's not. It's not. It's not useful. But uh, but I mean, is what it is. Um, and Elijah wants a true unicorn. <laughs> uh, a nine and ten can be a six or seven for a different person. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's uh, it, it was his definition, I guess. It's when he was talking with that Playboy model. He, he got a, a Playboy model with a photographer or something. I don't know. Um, they had a conversation. I didn't know he grew up in Pittsburgh, PA. That's kind of near me. Um, he was born here in PA. Interesting. Um, Lode said, I'm taking bets at the bet that SEC at one point will go after a hex. I think they will, but uh, Richard won't come to the States. It's not happening. He said, XRP is not a security after 2018. Well, I mean, I, unfortunately, the SEC is what it is. The ship just says the same thing as seeing overweight coaches in basketball or football. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I, I vividly remember this in seventh grade. We got this new gym teacher. We got this new gym teacher. I have to show you a picture of her because she, it, it, it was crazy. It was crazy, okay? This was my seventh grade gym teacher here. And, and she's a girl, okay? You, you guys ready? You, are you ready? Okay. This was my seventh grade like gym teacher, okay? We had her. She was crazy, okay? But we also had the exact opposite. She was like, we had we had some other chick that was 300 pounds, but we literally had, her name's Donna Lynn Bailey. Um, she had to do these crazy, crazy circuits. I mean, she, it was insane, um, insane. But yeah, that that was, that's something I'll, I'll, ne I'll never forget. <laughs> okay, guys, let's not make this weird now, okay? Um, you said both girls were hot AF. I mean, yeah, I mean, she's a Playboy model. I mean, what, like, what do you expect? His squammy baby. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, she was literally jacked. Back then, she could only bench, I think she said she could only bench 170 pounds. You have to realize, she's actually not tall. I think she's like 5'4 or something like that. Uh, I guess, like, you can find her stats online because she's she's a bodybuilder. Um, you can find like any bodybuilders their height and weight. Yeah, she, yeah, she's five four. So being able to bench, and she didn't weigh as much as she weighs now. You gotta think, keep in mind this was probably like two thousand ten or two thousand nine, maybe two thousand eight, somewhere in that range. So it's crazy. But just to see someone like, in order to be a bodybuilder like that, male or female, it doesn't matter. I mean, the amount of discipline it takes. I mean, I'm sure she's taking steroids. She says she's natty. I mean, like natural. But like, let's be real. Her her, her abs, for a woman, those abs are chiseled AF, like on point. So um, steroids would make a lot of sense for that. Unless she just does have those freak, like genetics. Um, there's plenty. I think Greg Doucette, More Plates, More Dates has uh, nattier knots on her. It's very interesting. But uh but, I mean, just the discipline. Eat, it doesn't matter if you're using steroids. You still have to eat right. You still, like, still got to work out. Um, it just makes it easier. Yeah, 
who said, well, with the food shortage, she's going to have a hard time keeping up. Oh, I'm sure they'll be fine. Her and her husband have, I'm pretty sure that they're, they're, they, they have a lot of money. They'll definitely be fine. They opened up a gym uh, in PA. It's pretty cool. But yeah, guys, I think that's what we got. I mean, Bitcoin, we're just hanging out, seeing what's going on. You know, I guess here we kind of <laughs> kind of switched to talking about Richard Hart and his twerk. And um, yeah, it's crazy. Insane. He was all over the tweeters today. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, yeah, I'm just checking my list here. Yeah, guys, I uh, talked about everything. Watch out for part two of the good old um, uh, the Coinbase listings. And yeah, Ginger, but like Buff Bunny, we, you're talking about Alpha Elite with um, Christian. You said uh, she's my friend and, and and we work out together like what, like when I'm in Houston. Awesome, awesome. I watch uh, Max Tuning and uh, and he's right there. I guess at Alpha Elite. I guess he's uh, he, like his channel is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I, I actually. Because so Max Tuning just started a podcast, like Don't Be Sour. He had Christian on, and then the second one was Buff Bunny, which is, I forget her name. But uh, yeah, it was pretty pretty interesting. I didn't know she had um, the girl clothing line. It's pretty interesting how her, I guess, fiance and them, they basically have two different company, like two like two different companies that sell women clothing, like sportswear. And uh, I mean, but it's not really like com like competition or anything. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I don't really know much about her, but uh, it was pretty cool watching that um, podcast. Just to see a different side of things. Yeah, yeah, Max Tuning's funny. He has that. He's, he's just chill. I always look forward to his videos. Um, I do like sour strips, though. Sa like, sour strips are good. I'm not going to lie. Um, I definitely ran out to Target that one time and bought some. You said small script at home meet up in, in Houston, 7 4 2023. Hey, maybe sometime in the future. What's up, Kyle? Take it easy, homie. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Yes, her name's Heidi Summers. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, I mean, uh, out, like Alpha Lee, uh, or Alpha Land or whatever it's called down there. I forget the exact name. I'm probably saying it wrong. But I mean, the, the gym looks dope. He definitely uh, did well. Looks nice. But that's awesome, man. So, you yeah, guys, that's what we got for tonight. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Smack the like, subscribe. If you guys want to support the channel, hit the links down below. Um, and we'll catch you in the next one. We're live Monday to Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. We'll see what's uh, going on with Bitcoin. I still think a rally in the short term is likely, and but I still think we're going to actually be bottoming around the 200 weekly. Only time will tell, guys. We'll see how it goes. And uh, final chat, you got uh, Elijah said, like later homies, have fun, make the bear, bear market uh, polar bearable, <laughs> chill as fudge. <laughs> Already, man, I like the jokes. Uh, th thanks, homie. Hey, guys, well, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great rest of your nights. And until next time, may the gains be with you. That was the chair, if you guys heard that.